Farmer Noge dropped Bessie in the middle of nowhere. At time t equals 0, Bessie is located at x equals 0 on an infinite number line. She frantically searches for an exit by moving left or right by one unit each second. However, there actually is no exit and after t seconds, Bessie is back at x equals 0, tired and resigned. Farmer Noge tries to track Bessie but only knows how many times Bessie crosses x equals 0.5, 1.5, 2.5, etc., given by an array, Bessie never reaches beyond n nor left of zero. In particular, Bessie's root can be represented by a string of ls and rs where the ith character represents the direction Bessie moves in during the ith second. The number of direction changes is defined as the number of occurrences of lrs plus the number of occurrences of rls. Please help Farmer Noge find any route Bessie could have taken that is consistent with A and minimizes the number of direction changes. It is guaranteed that there is at least one valid route. Here is how the string and the array A varies as Bessie moves on the number line for the second sample. Here is a set of moves that produces another string but the same array A. There is another set of moves that produces yet another string but again the same array A. Direction changes in these strings are highlighted. The first string has minimum number of them. It is the one that is output. We would like to minimize the number of direction changes. This can be realized if Bessie moves in the same direction as much as possible. In the sample case we have just seen, the second and third strings introduce extra direction changes. Since we already have the array we can build a histogram to visualize the array. The height indicates the number of crossings available at that point. As Bessie crosses over the bars, we reduce the height by 1 to keep track of remaining crossings at that point. Since Bessie can't cross the same interval in the same direction twice in a row, she needs to change her travel direction in between each time. The solution minimizing the direction changes would be the one that covers the most amount of bars per direction change. When the neighboring bars are at the same height, Bessie can make longer back and forth trips that minimizes the direction changes. This observation leads to the idea of tapering off the taller bars to the same height as their neighbors. With this strategy Bessie would make purposeful direction changes to try and unify the heights of adjacent bars. Once they are at the same height, instead of doing many turns for each bar separately, she travels them all at once in one direction change. Here is an example of Bessie applying this strategy. Let's summarize the algorithm. We start going right as long as possible, until there is a height drop. We stop there, make as many turns necessary to shorten the tall bar. 
At equal height the bars act as if there were only a single interval. So we treat them as one. We continue the travel, we find another height drop and we do the turns again. We continue this routine until all bars are at height 1. Finally we sweep from right to left back to zero. Implementation of this algorithm can be made with lists of pair of two integers, where the integers store the height and the width of the block. Initially the widths are all one and the heights are initialized through the given input. As we iterate through the list elements, element heights are reduced as discussed and then they are merged into a single element with a cumulative width. During the iteration, we keep track of our direction and create the string that will be output as the answer once we are back at the origin. Thank you for watching. For AMC 8 preparation classes and camps check out our website starlead.us.